Last night when my sister tried to turn on the lights, uh, the light bulb died and uh, the fuse got blown. So first thing I'm going to do is to fix that fuse. Be A couple of hours ago it was minus 7 degrees so it's still cold but luckily it's another short ride same as yesterday I'm going on the other side of Danube in this beautiful small park and it's great for rides like this when it's cold and windy I'm on my mountain bike so I'm going to enjoy in this beautiful park Behind me is Petroaradin Fortress, very popular tourist destination and one of the symbols of this city. And that's all for this ride. Just when I came from a ride this way it's in the mailbox, it looks like it's a hat that I ordered from AliExpress, so let's check it out. It looks good for 5 bucks. I'm going to wear it when I start other kind of videos. Today's classes I managed to arrive on the marketplace in the last minute, bought all those veggies and fruit, sat here, opened up the Facebook and I came across this Facebook post from my friend Alexandros Rohidis. he's from Greece, he was riding for the same team I'm riding right now, SMF team and he posted this, this is Google Translate, it's not so perfect but it says a while ago I feel 11 years since I started cycling 
a little more than half of my life. I rode 277 races of which I won 75 and got medals in 154. This year so I've decided to stop the top longer as it has nothing to offer me something. Thank you to everyone who was there for me all those years for what we've been through and to support them. Good start of the new season everyone with success in all goals. This year so I have decided to stop the top longer as it has nothing to offer me something. Thank you to everyone who was there for me all these years for what we've been through and to support me. Good start of the new season everyone with success in all goals. So what to say, uh, he is one of the best younger riders in Greece, as I mentioned he won Balkan Championship and many other races. It's so sad and disappointing to hear that one of the best riders in country is not receiving any payments or something. And you know, this is so hard sport and even if you have to pay, give your money, to be at the top level it's impossible. He's young, he's just one year older than me and I think he is continuing to educate himself. That's one of the main things why am I doing my college parallel to the sport because it's not so secure, you don't know what's going to be tomorrow and you need to have some kind of plan B to support yourself and your future. So Alex, if you're watching this, I wish you all the best in your future plans and good luck. With that being said, I'm going to end today's vlog. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you for all those supporting messages, for all those likes and subscribes and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video.